Hi everyone, in today's reading we're going to go ahead and take a look and see what messages are coming through for you right now and what messages do your tarot guides want you to connect with energetically. Um, before we begin the reading, I just want to say that today's video is being sponsored by Rose Forever. Thanks guys so much for sending me these beautiful bouquet of roses. Just a little bit about the brand. Rose Forever is a New York based brand that launched back in 2019. They design luxurious rose boxes with natural roses that do keep for up to a year. They also use all natural oils to preserve the roses and the bouquets that you see here are being handcrafted by professional flower artisans. All the materials used to cover the boxes are vegan, even the pink suede and the black velvet ones. Their preserved roses come in special colours and they're created through a natural process of pigmentation to keep the rich, intense shade and they're all allergen free. There's an enormous choice of rose colours and boxes, shape, size and materials. So all you have to do is just find your perfect combination for your interior design. Now the company got inspired by Parisian chic style and they've also developed multiple design options due to customers and influencers feedback. Right now you could get $25 of any purchase from Rose Forever. All you have to do is just visit their website, link is in the description box below, and use the special code BLACK25. Once again, their link is going to be included in the description box below and use a special code BLACK25 to receive the $25 discount code and enjoy your roses. Okay, with all of that being said, let's go ahead and let's begin with the reading. Bottom of the deck, you've got the hangman. There is an energy coming through from someone's person very strongly. It feels very intense, okay? And this energy feels like a tidal wave of emotions. It's It feels like a tidal wave of attraction, of passion, of chemistry, but also it's mixed in with some, um, some negative emotions, like for, ex for example, regret, um, nostalgia, and all of these emotions are hitting this person like a ton of bricks. I don't necessarily know why right now, but it just feels like um, all of these emotions are washing over this individual. Now, this is someone who... This connection between you and this person that you're feeling and that you felt is very intense. And you both intensely feel the connection, you both intensely feel the emotions, and you both intensely feel the pull towards one another, especially in the early stages of the connection. Okay, especially when you first met, when you first connected, um, you know, that first dinner date, lunch date, conversation, that first uh, cup of coffee, glass of wine. Um, the both of you felt this, inten this connection very intensely. Um, and you both were quite drawn and pulled towards one another. However, it just feels like maybe the both of you, um, actually maybe one of you sort of jumped into it um, and the other person was initially hesitant at first. Okay, not because they, um, you know, they didn't feel the attraction or they didn't feel the connection, um, but because this person... It's because this person felt the connection and felt the attraction so strongly. They have this, 
it, they feel it so strongly, so much so that they pulled away. Okay, so this person has pulled away or is currently pulling their energy away from yours and away from this connection. Um, now, this person has, they feel as though they have this unexplainable connection with you or this person feels like they have, you know, this unexplainable connection with someone. Um, and it's almost like they feel, this person feels as though they've known the other person forever. Even if they've just met, they felt like they had this instant connection with you. Um, and usually that is a sign that whatever it is that you're about to pursue the connection, it's a sign that there's, you know, this is something bigger. Okay, this person um, felt a soul connection with you. So much so that it got really intense and it got really overwhelming very very quickly okay which is what has led to this person to pull away right now this person is feeling very flustered with themselves okay you might be in no contact no communication with this individual this is someone whom you might have not um you might have not spoken to this person in a long time um or you know you guys are in a very stagnant phase of a connection right now but what this person is feeling is they are feeling this strong connection, but they're also feeling very flustered, very flustered and very confused about, you know, what it is that they're feeling and what steps they need to take next. Okay, this is someone who wants to pursue this person and their energy um, strongly indicates that they want to pursue a romantic connection with you. Okay, because... You might have just stumbled. You might have, you guys just stumbled, you know, onto each other. And very randomly, you might have sort of just stumbled into this connection. But after, you know, interacting, even after only a few minutes, the both of you just felt very comfortable with one another. The both of you felt um, this sort of ease with one another. Okay, and it's like you have not been able to explain this connection. You have not been able to... Um, explain this attraction and neither has this individual um, and the both of you know just especially in the early stages you know just how thrilling it was um, look whatever it is this person is still experiencing okay you know the intensity of this connection the intensity of the attraction and when i say attraction it's not just a physical attraction okay you guys um you and this person your energy is connected um, very quickly in your energies like you are both physically attracted to each other but there's also this emotional attraction um, there's also this um, like mental attraction as well and for some of you look it could be love at first sight okay it could be love at first sight but you know this strong initial attraction that you have to one another you might be surprised to know that it's kind of it's fizzled out a little bit, even though it was, you know, it began out so strongly and so intensely right now, because of the stagnant phase of the connection, it has fizzled out. Okay. The attraction hasn't necessarily dissolved entirely, but it is fizzling out only because that only because this person, okay, they are strongly attracted to you and they're not opposed to the idea of pursuing a relationship with you. They're not, but they're just feeling very flustered right now. They're feeling very flustered with themselves. Um, also, the way, the casual way in which they approach this relationship. Okay, so they obviously understand that, you know, what the two of you have is a very strong, deep connection. Okay, and there's also been, there's been some specific signs that have, when they met you or when you have met this individual, there's been some very specific signs, guys, that have shown up almost instantly or immediately after you've met this person or after you guys have connected with one another and the both of you right now uh, even though you might be not necessarily communicating not necessarily talking with one another you're both feeling each other's energy okay and the like all you have to go by right now is emotions and the, you, you're picking up on their energy, okay, and you're picking up on their vibration, and they're doing the same as well. They're kind of mirroring that energy back to you as well. And whatever it is that you're feeling right now is basically enough to validate that 
you know, what you feel for this person and how you feel about this person is very deep and almost even unexplainable, right? The thing is, I feel like what you and this person have is a spiritual connection. But I think that before you even... Because for some of you, I feel like you've just met this person not too long ago. It may have only been a few days, a few weeks, or even a few months. For others, you might know you, have, you might have known this person longer, but it just feels like um, they may have pulled away. Okay, because because of the intensity and just how overwhelming they um, they found their feelings for you, they've pulled away and they've distanced themselves. And in doing so, it feels like they've robbed you they've robbed themselves of the opportunity to really connect with you on a much more deeper level because the energy seem to indicate very strongly that there is this connection is characterized by a soulmate or like a psychic connection even okay um and this person felt something with you and it kind of scared them okay um it might have also scared you that you know you might have also felt something with this person especially when you just met it's like it's it's hard for you to understand it's hard for you and for this person to wrap their head around but that connection just felt very deep and unexplainable okay and when something feels that way it's usually you know it's usually considered as divine now with this person what's happening right now is they're drowning in their emotions I've mentioned there's a lot of regret in this person's energy. This person is not comfortable showing you how they feel about you. And this person is not comfortable showing you their emotions. Okay. Um, what happens is this is a type of individual who likes to always put the best foot forward. Okay. And this is the type of person that... Um, I feel like they're impressionable or they have this need to impress other people, even if that means they're going to lose their authenticity in doing so. Okay. Um, and right now, this person, uh, you know, as strongly as they feel their feelings for you and as, and, and as overwhelmed as, as flustered as they are right now, this is why they're pulled away because they do not want you to see that. They do not want you to see what's going on with them internally. They don't want you to see what's going on with them emotionally. And this is why they're pulled away right now. Uh, there's something here. Their mental state right now is not in a good place. Okay, there's a lot that's going on with this person emotionally. Um, you know what I find really interesting is that you have introduced this person to a part of themselves or even parts of themselves that they never knew existed or that they were never able to connect with. Like they're in a child, for instance, right? Um, there's something about your energy and the way that your energy has interacted with their energy, the way that your energies play with each other. There's just something about them, something about you um, that has made them relearn parts about themselves. And that's pretty intense. I don't know how you did it. I don't exactly know. Um, I don't even think you might even know how you did it. But the thing is, when... Because it can be very difficult to see yourself from different angles, right? But there's just something about your energy and there was something about the way that you approached this their energy and you approached this connection that has made this person see um, themselves from a different angle. Okay, now they started to see more of an align also um, with their, their strengths. Um, but also like their triggers, their trigger points, their goals, their aspirations and their fears, the things that make them happy in life, okay, and the things that trigger them, their emotional cues. So this is also one of the reasons why um, this person has pulled away, okay, because um, there's something here that has really got to them. There's something here that they've relearned, okay, or there's something here that they've connected to an aspect of themselves that feels really that feels a lot for this person it just feels like 
they feel very flustered and um you know they're, they're trying to relearn relearn or trying to reconnect with parts of themselves um the thing is this person feels like the two of you have shared some very you or someone here feels like that um you and this individual have shared some very magical times together okay um if you and this person are in a no contact no communication period i feel like it's very important for you to know and i hope you are comforted by the thought that by the fact that this person still thinks of you and this person still feels very energetically connected to you okay so even if they're not necessarily talking or responding or if you guys are in a bit of a turbulent uh situation i think yeah i think it's you know it's important for you to be comforted by the fact that this person still feels connected to you and i think that you also feel their energy pulling on yours okay someone here is not able to get you off their mind okay even if this person isn't communicating or hasn't necessarily told you this i feel like this person will never forget you the magical times that you've shared with one another and also the way that you have been able to help them relearn those parts of themselves and reconnect with their inner child and reconnect with aspects of their individual self now that's pretty big you have done a lot for this individual and you know they're never gonna they're never going to forget you they're never, never going to forget the connection that you share or the connection that you've shared um and the thing is i find like i find that this person okay or find someone here is constantly wrapped up in someone else's energy okay and this is why you know even if you if you're not talking with this person but if you find yourself constantly thinking about this person or if you find yourself um like if you just almost hear or see their name pop up everywhere or if you see signs signs and synchronicities that keep popping up um uh you know uh, relating to this person and relating to this connection it's because what's happening is energetically you're still very much connected and energetically you feel that this person is pulling on your energy so someone here is constantly wrapped up in thoughts of the other person and they're lost in daydreams about you know what it felt to spend those magical times they shared with you and what it felt like you know when they were around you and just how exciting and thrilling it felt when you were you know when you were spending time together um there this person's thoughts is centered around how to make you happy or how to make the other person happy okay um also i'm seeing that someone here you know they might not be communicating but I feel like this person has gone or has reached out. I feel like someone here has reached out to a tarot reader. Okay. And they reached out to a tarot reader to ask about you. Okay. Because remember how I said early in the reading that this is someone who is, you know, who has a hard time um, showing you their emotions, showing you what they feel inside, showing you, you know, their vulnerability okay so they have a hard time doing this just because they don't show you vulnerability or just because they don't express their emotions doesn't mean they have none doesn't mean that they're not vulnerable so instead of you know showing you that vulnerable side because they're so uncomfortable to do so uh, uh they've reached out to a tarot reader okay and because you guys are like no contact no communication so i don't know if they've blocked you or if you've blocked this person or if you've lost their number or um, or if this person just does not feel like communicating right now um, they do want to find out as much information as they can about you. And I see that someone here has gone to a tarot reader and they've asked about you. And this is what the tarot reader has said, okay? The tarot reader has confirmed that what they've, what they've or what you've have felt all along, that the two of you do have a very deep spiritual um, and a very unexplainable and a profound connection. Um, but also what the tarot reader has said is that both of you are quite intuitive, okay? You and the person that you're connected to are very intuitive. Um, and because you're both so intuitive and in tune with one another, you are able to connect on a very profound level. But what happens is a little bit more patience is required in this connection. 
okay um, depending on your individual situations and depending on where you're at in the relationship in this connection um, there's one individual here that needs a little bit more time than the other person okay now that's not to say that the other person is being hasty or is being impatient but it just feels like there's um you know one individual needs a little bit more time basically in order to surrender to this deep connection okay and this is the same individual that has pulled away the same individual that has um you know suddenly stopped talking or suddenly com uh, stopped communicating or is acting you know emotionally distant or um aloof here yeah. okay because what's happened is this person feels so the both of you feel so deeply connected um the both of you feel so deeply connected that you're able to feel each other's emotions okay so this person that has pulled away not only are they feeling and they're trying to process their emotions but they feel such an emotional connection and an emotional attraction to you that they're also picking up your emotions your vibrations your intentions okay they're picking up on your energy and this is really really overwhelming um and this is a level of vulnerability that they're just not ready for okay so if you're fine if you're the one that you know wanted to dive head and heart first into this relationship but if your person was the one that was initially hesitant at first it does not mean that they weren't feeling what you were feeling okay it doesn't mean that you know the feelings or the emotions aren't mutual because they are but it just means that this person okay your person is not able to surrender to themselves and is not able to surrender to this connection just yet okay to this very deep and profound connection um okay so it's important for you to know and i think this is what the uh, tarot reader also has um said to you know your person or said to the individual whoever it is that has reached out to a tarot reader um, whether it's on youtube or you know outside of youtube but whoever it is that has reached out the tarot the tarot reader has said here that this isn't about this distance and this separation this disconnection that you're feeling it's not only a disconnection because you guys are still very much energetically connected but this you know this distance right now it's not about a lack of connection okay it's not that at all um or it's not even about the potential that you know this connection lacks because it doesn't it's there but it's about it's more about one person's okay hesitancy to surrender to the vulnerability that comes with this intense connection if that makes sense okay because this speaking of potential this has a potential to be a very deep loving and intense relationship and that can be a very scary and frightening thing shallow relationships do not bring the intensity um, they do not bring the bliss, the intensity, the fulfillment that, you know, such a deep connection does. Shallow relationships don't trigger you, okay? They don't encourage you to become better. They don't challenge you. They don't bring up old emotional wounds, okay? They're just shallow at surface level, right? Um, but as you can imagine, deep relationships, they do all of that. So, um, if you're finding it, you know, if it's very confusing to you why your person is quiet or why they've pulled away or why they're acting weird and distant, even though you know this is someone who felt, you know, what you feel. Um, what happened is this person is, you know, is pulled away, but there's this tidal wave of emotions that this individual is now drowning in. And, you know, this this person... And because of this emotions and because of this intensity, this person is really hesitant when it comes to this connection. Okay, but the thing is, there are signs. There are signs, there have been signs, and you will continue to have signs that this person feels the same way that you do. Okay, the attraction is just, the attraction is uh, mutual. Okay, and... one of the signs i feel like was the eye contact and i think the eyes you know the eyes always give it away right um when two people connect they've got this special look in their eyes and that's the look you know that's the look that you gave your person that's the look that your person gave you um so yeah pay attention to their eyes okay it's something when you're with them it's like they're constantly fixated on you your eyes are constantly fixated 
on them it's like you know you guys lock eyes it's a very eye contact um can be a very deeply intimate experience there's something about their smell as well okay this was one of the signs that some of you were experiencing now i don't know if you're crazy about their perfume or the fragrance that they wear or if it's something that you know a smell that you know it could be the pheromones okay because that plays a huge role in attraction right and feeling a connection to someone but it could also be you know it, it could it could have something to do that maybe brings you back to a part of childhood or um it's something that reminds you okay you know um something that reminds you of your childhood or it's something that you feel very connected to so this point in time okay their no contact no communication or their um, distance is not an attempt to dismiss it's not an attempt to throw the connection away it's important that you don't interpret that um, as such okay this what has happened is you know they they approached this in a very casual type of energy they did not expect to fall in love with you they didn't they did not expect to feel their emotions as intensely as they do but what's happened is it's kind of all backfired because of the way that they've approached this connection, the very casual approach. Um, it's kind of backfired on them. And right now they're finding themselves having to deal with all sorts of emotions. Okay, they have... This person has a very strong attachment to you. They could be watching your social media. They, you know, they're constantly thinking about you, daydreaming about you, um, even having dreams about you as well. And they cannot let you go for those reasons that we spoke about. They cannot let you go of your energy. They cannot, and you can't let go of theirs as well because of how intensely this is. Um, I'm also seeing that someone here has been stressing a lot. Someone has been stressing um, a lot and someone here is thinking about you a lot. So do expect communication from this person, okay? Because um, what's happening is this person has loved you or is loving you very quietly, okay? What do I mean by that? They're not communicating that to you and they're not necessarily showing you that right now because you guys aren't seeing each other or you guys, um, you know, aren't necessarily pursuing the romantic connection but they're loving you from a distance okay they're sending you um, good vibrations they're sending you good intentions from a distance but they're also very scared and they're scared to let go of their um, fears as well This person is missing you a lot, okay? Or someone here is missing someone very, um, very deeply. And they're having a hard time opening up. They're having a hard time processing all of their emotions. They're constantly thinking about you. But the thing is, they're not doing much about it. They're holding themselves back. They're keeping themselves stagnated. They, This person feels as though you are moving on or you have moved on. And it, it honestly breaks their heart. Okay, it breaks their heart to think that you've moved on or you've forgotten about them or that, you know, if they continue to act distant or if they continue to keep um, go on with their silence, it breaks their heart to think that, you know, you're going to stop loving them or you're going to forget about them. But the thing is, what they're feeling is so intense that they need the time and the space to work everything through. And even though this person has a sudden urge to come forward, sudden urge to contact you, talk to you communicate with you see your face they're stopping themselves and they're not doing anything about it which is really frustrating here it's also frustrating themselves um they you know they frustrate themselves as well but they don't know why they do what they do okay um and there you have it guys so for those of you that are in a no contact or if you're in a separation um phase of a connection here i feel like it's important for you to find comfort in the thought that this person is thinking about you, okay? Um, and this silence or this, you know, this turbulency between the both of you is not an attempt to dismiss or to throw away the connection, okay? It's just that 
you know, there's a tidal wave of emotions right now and they're really overcome and overwhelmed with all sorts of emotions, positive ones, but also negative ones. And because you guys are so attuned to one another, this person is, you know, not only feeling their emotions, but they're also feeling yours. So it's like they're drowning in these emotions and they're having a hard time processing. But just because there isn't contact communication now doesn't mean they won't reach out. Because the other thing that the tarot reader has said, um, and I don't know if it's to you or to this person, is just um, to give it time. Give it time. Okay, and don't force this connection. Because you, you didn't force the attraction. You know, when you met and you sort of stumbled into this connection, you sort of stumbled onto one another, that wasn't planned, that wasn't forced. I mean, a lot of you weren't even expecting it. It's almost like this person has come out of the blue or it's almost like um, this happened really unexpectedly and it wasn't in your plans, okay? It was in the plan of the divine. It was definitely in the plans of, you know, divine and cosmos and source, but it wasn't necessarily in your plans. You were kind of like wanting to spend some time, you know, being intentionally single or this person was wanting to spend some time being single and then next thing you know, you guys have stumbled into each other and into this connection and you just have to give it the space okay you just have to give it the space and the time because you know as we spoke about earlier there's just one person here um and i don't think it's both i just think there's one person here who's just not ready for at least not right now okay that's not to say they'll never be ready so in a week you know in a couple of weeks a couple of months from now um they could they could be that much more ready but right now they're just not ready for the level of vulnerability that this connection um you know has okay and i'm gonna leave it at that guys thanks for watching and listening um please show your support by subscribing liking um and commenting and for those of you interested in the personal reading feel free to reach out thanks guys again for your time your energy and your attention bye for now